33. Identify two common observations indicating some liquids have sufficient vapor pressures to noticeably evaporate. Okay, so this is first and foremost not going to be applicable for all liquids and all gases. That's why they said some here. So I'm just going to name the two common observations that not that I know off uh, the top of my head. One uh, is pretty common for all of them, but then the other one is kind of iffy, iffy, but they did say some liquids. So the first observation that we can suggest in which, you know, your liquid has enough vapor pressure to evaporate is we could think about this in terms of when we boil water, right? If I just quickly draw a pot, right? And here's my lovely little pot and we got some water in here going on right? And over time is that if we don't have this covered, right? And we're, and we're just boiling the water, what's going to happen to the water? Well, the water is going to start turning into a gas and escaping out of the container because it's open. So all this liquid is going to turn into gas and the gas is going to come right out of that container because we did not close it out. Now, remember, mass cannot be created nor destroyed. So as you're heating this up, and let's just assume that, uh, let's just assume that we have an electric stove right here, the coal, the coils that are getting red and, um, we're applying heat to it. Now what's going to happen to the liquid? Well, if the gas is escaping, Mass cannot be created nor destroyed. If you have now mass up top here, you're going to have less mass in the pot. And if you do decide to have dinner one day, you're going to you know, boil some pasta, which sometimes I do this on occasion, where I'll say, okay, I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some pasta. Let me throw on the, the boiling water, um, you know, because it takes a while to boil. So I'll put on a pot of boiling water, and then I'll come, come up here, do you know, a, a couple of videos, and then I'll go back and put the pasta in. But, you know, you know us, right? Thousands of videos later, uh, I'll say, okay, let me go check on my boiling water, and there's like none left. Well, the reason here is because as the gas is escaping, the, the liquid water in the pot is getting less and less and less, and there's not going to be any liquid anymore. So then you basically have to start all over again. So that's one of your observances, so that when you have enough pressure, right, when you have enough vapor pressure in order to evaporate, evaporate is when you're turning from a liquid into a gas. So you're taking that liquid and you're turning it into a gas. You will start noticing that the amount of liquid will decrease if applying heat. I mean, you don't really necessarily have to be applying heat, so maybe I'll just say the amount of liquid will decrease. Um, but this is my example for boiling the water. So when you start seeing the amount of liquid decreasing, mass cannot be created nor destroyed, the liquid, you know, the actual H2O or whatever the substance is, has to be going somewhere and it's going into the atmosphere. Now, the second thing is a little iffy that some liquids do this and some don't. Now, some liquids, right, like if you smell, if you open up a bottle of ammonia, right, so we'll say NH3, or bleach, right, either one is okay, but you have ammonia, which is liquid, and this will phase change into NH3 gas. Now, this, when we think of ammonia, right, this has a horrible smell. Chances are it is going to smell pretty bad, right? But it will have a noticeable, I think a noticeable, noticeable, oh boy. We'll just say noticeable. No, I'm going with my first choice. I'm going with my first choice. I got to stick with it. So 
there will be a noticeable smell. The smell comes from the gas. Generally, noxious fumes, like disgusting fumes, SAT word, noxious, is coming from the gas. So whether it's, you know, bleach, when you are pouring bleach and you start smelling that smell, that's the liquid evaporating into a gas and having that smell. Um, Ammonia, or you could even think of, you know, the smell of rotting eggs, right? When you pass gas, that has a noticeable smell sometimes, right? Um, Like rotten eggs, that all would have those noticeable smells, and that's always coming from a gas. And that's when you know that those liquids that were in the beginning are going to start evaporating. Now, that's where some of them, some of the liquids do this. But like water, when we start boiling water, it doesn't release that snoxious or that noticeable smell. Um, So that's why some is for number two. But one is generally for all of them. And I hope this helps. I think that's it. Thank you for viewing this video. Um, If you wouldn't mind, please press the subscribe button to just help us out and get the word out there that this channel exists. Thank you so much for that, and I hope you're having a great day out there. Let's keep studying hard, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.